Hi, my name is Susan Crean. I'm an author and journalist, and I write books, magazine articles, and documentary films, and I depend on the National Archives. What writers need from the archives, first and foremost, is that the archives exist. That means in addition to housing the papers that come from the federal government, that archivists go out and search and acquire and then make available the archives that belong to individual Canadians, businesses and organizations. And making available to Canadians, what does that mean? It means service for all of us who do research at the archives. Whether we do short-term, say, genealogical work on our families, or whether we go there for long-term, highly intensive research projects that writers and people like academics and scholars do. The essential ingredient for all writers working in archives are the archivists, and they are arguably more important than the archives themselves. These are the people who are experts in separate fields like labor, the arts, politics, and so forth, and they know where things are. And that means they're essential to the work that I do. Case in point, an archive of Toronto photographer Michelle Lambeth, who worked here in the 50s and 60s. Now this is an archive, like many, which are not often consulted, that didn't ever get catalogued, even though it's been there over 25 years. And we're talking about over 60,000 negatives with no finding aid, needle in a haystack. Can't do it without an archivist. They're your only hope. And in my experience, archivists always deliver. It's not just that they know where things are. They usually know something you don't know. And that means they make important and very substantive contributions often to the work that you do. They are national treasures, and far too many of them are leaving LAC at the moment. My last trip to the archives was such a disturbing experience, I came home and wrote a piece called National Archives Blues. I lamented the fact that hours have been cut back so much, you can no longer do marathons, and your research trips cost an awful lot more than they used to. Archivists have also been removed to Gatineau. They're harder to find, they're harder to get to. And we are much more dependent on generalists who simply don't know what the experts know. Archives are our national treasures. They belong to us all. They connect us to the past and they connect us to the future. So I ask you to join with us in CAUT in raising a voice for posterity.